Hey guys, Goldie here. I just wanted to take a minute to show you guys a few books that I found at, a, at some thrift stores I went to yesterday. Um, and it's, I wouldn't call it a haul, but it's just about four books. But um, there were some really unique, I mean, really cool finds, unique cool finds. Um, I mentioned in a previous video that I love thrift store shopping. Uh, you find such great stuff at awesome prices, obviously, and um, so yeah, I really want to encourage you guys to go check out your local thrift store because you never know what you're going to find, and so the first book I found was The Herbal Drug Store, here, by Linda B. White, MD, and Stephen Foster of the Staff of Herbs and Health, Herbs for Health. <laughs> Uh, this is a great overall book. It really touches on a bunch of ailments um, and how to um, help them, if not cure them, with, with herbs. Um, so, great addition to my library. And although, you know, just so people know, you know, Western medicine definitely has, you know, over the counter stuff and prescriptions definitely have their place and never mix herbs with prescription medications unless you've cleared it with your doctor. Um, I can't express that more because there are some herbs out there that can really mess you up if you take them with certain prescription medicines. Um, I've been warned um, by my own doctors for that in the past when I was on prescribed certain medications, um, especially with St. John's wort. Apparently there's a lot of um, a risk involved with certain medications. So just check that out before you take anything. Uh, you want to be safe and herbs are wonderful. I love working with them myself, um, but safety first. So check with the MD. Then I picked up this little meditation book, Meditations for Women Who Do Too Much. It's, uh, it's just everyday meditations. It touches on a bunch of different subjects. Um, you know, feelings that, you know, we deal with as, as, as women, you know, <clears throat> it may not work for everybody. It's, you know, obviously like, you know, if you're, it, it's, it's pretty much for like women who, you know, work, married, kids, family dynamic going on in their lives. And, uh, so if that's not your life, you might not, like, find this book interesting at all. But, um, I really liked some of the little meditations and plan to do some journaling on some of them. And, um, just looks like a, a nice little book. Then I found this really unique, um, well, it's unique to me. It's a Celebrating Ourselves, a Crone Ritual book. And it was put together by the feminist, feminist spiritual community of Portland, Maine. And they've been doing this celebration crone uh, ritual since 1982. And apparently it's grown since then. I don't know if they still do it. I haven't looked into it, but um, that's something I do want to do. And I wanna, I'm going to review this book uh, once I get through with it um, in when I do that, I'll, I'll know by then if they still, still do the ritual or the, um, the group is still together and everything, but it looks really good. Um, it just talks about, you know, transitioning into the crone stage of life. Uh, the, I guess I just dealing with the, um, dealing with and getting past the negative feelings that, you know, so many of us do have with aging and, or at least are taught we're supposed to have. So, you know, and really celebrating that transition into the crone. Um, and what's really great about this book that I just loved right away is that they just, they show like exactly what they were doing, you know, embracing ritual, how they set up their candles. You know, they talk about they're dancing and feasting and stones, giving of gifts. Um, let's see, their altar, they have a little picture of their altar. 
yeah, I think that's really great. And and it just goes into depth. So I'll I'll uh, do a review on this in the next few weeks once I get through it and get some more information about it. But that was a great find. It was like two dollars or something. And then I found this one I'm like most excited about is the Black Madonna. Nice picture of that. <clears throat> By Fred Gustafson. And he was a graduate from C.G. Young Institute in Zurich and wrote this book um, about... Okay, this is his analysis into the psychological and historical examination of the Black Madonna from her roots in the pagan deity Lilith and the archetype of the Great Mother to her resurgence as the Virgin in the Middle Ages to her life today as the unheeded, unconscious archetype of the feminine. Just looks really great. Um, something I'm very interested in. Uh, dark mother goddesses are like right up my alley. Um, and if your goddesses are like the Morgane, um, Lilith, Kali, anyone that in that kind of realm, um, I think you'd really enjoy this too. This was, let's see, the copyright 1990. I don't know if it's still published. Um, I'm going to do a review on this one also and find out more information. So if y'all do want to find this book, I will, I'll put the info out there just because I think it looks great. Um, and I like to share the love, you know, uh, let's see. So the table of contents, I want to just, there's only five chapters. Um, I was going to read the chapter titles to you guys. The Dark Force and the Raven, The Journey Within. The Historical Refinement and the Emergence of the Black Madonna. The Dark Image that Transforms. Other Goddesses of Darkness. And the Dark Mother as Image of Earth in Psychic Wholeness. So, yeah, and then they have some, it's not picture heavy, but in that chapter, Other Dark Goddesses. They do have some photographs of, of, um, other dark goddesses, it's like mostly pictures of statues that, or paintings, so, but that's cool. I like that. They do show Kali in here, um, Artemis, let's see. Then, then they go into like the, the Virgin Mary and and how she fits into there. So, um, so yeah, I am really looking forward to to getting into this book. I'll review it, get all that information for you guys, so y'all can search it out for yourselves if if you're interested, if it looks good to you. Um, but yeah, so that was just that was a great little little gathering of books I found. Um, but yeah, so I, I guess that's all, and y'all have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.